There have been numerous examples recently of AI being used to scam innocent victims, and deep fakes are getting harder and harder to spot. Take a look at this. Is it real or fake? Maybe hard to tell from the naked eye. Now, this is real, but right now, Swifty fans are getting swindled by the deceptive practice. Scammers creating an AI generated ad, which has been circulating online over the month. It has been promoting a non existent giveaway between the pop star and Le Creuset, the cookware, with the intention of stealing data and money from Swift fans. Let's bring in News Nation Law and Justice contributor Jennifer Koffendoffer. She's also a former FBI special agent. Jennifer, good to see you. Thanks for for being here tonight. Good to see you, Natasha. So Jennifer, we're getting uh, this still from the Taylor Swift deepfake. The video itself seems to all but been scrubbed from the internet. But explain quickly what you're tracking with this latest scam, because it was reportedly very convincing even to super fans who know everything about Taylor Swift. It certainly was convincing. And what fans need to do is really look at that product. In other words, if it's something that they're endorsing, go ahead and do just a little bit of homework, click on that product and go onto the web and see if her picture comes up and there's a legitimate product there. If you don't see that picture of her, she's not endorsing it because that's the biggest thing they would want to show uh, in their advertisement. Yeah, I mean, I think most of us, you know, believe our eyes and, and when, if, when someone's mouth is moving and it looks like them, it's really hard to tell the difference. Jennifer, when this originates from another country, when the bad actors are not here in the U.S., what recourse is there or are they likely to just keep getting away with this? They will keep getting away with it if they're truly in another country. And again, it's tracking that money. And that's how you really get to the source of these scams. But when they're in another country, there's so little that can be done. The FBI does have legal anti-shays in most of the other countries. And so some of these cases can be worked, but it's very difficult to bring anyone to justice. That's really tough. Jennifer Koffendoffer, always appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.